हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डॉट नेट मिरर चैनल टुडे लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड हाउ यू कैन डिप्लॉय एन एस पी डॉट एप्लीकेशन विच इज इंटरैक्टिंग विद सीक्वल डेटाबेस वी विल ट्राई टू डिप्लॉय दिस एप्लीकेशन टू एज यूर एप सर्विस एंड एज यूर सीक्वल एंड वी विल ट्राई टू रन दिस एप्लीकेशन ऑन द क्लाउड टुडे द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द वीडियो इज वी विल ट्राई टू क्रिएट ए बेसिक ए एस पी डॉट नेट वेब एप्लीकेशन वी विल ट्राई टू क्रिएट ए बेसिक सीक्वल डेटाबेस and we will try to run this application on a local server and after that we will try to create an azure app service and we will try to deploy the application to cloud and also we will try to create an azure sql database we will create the tables and we will deploy the scripts to the database and we will try to configure the connection string in azure app service and we will run the same application which was running on local to the cloud so the prerequisite you should have is you should have a visual studio ide you can download the community edition uh, you should have an azure account development knowledge of basic asp.net and c sharp and knowledge of azure and if you are new to azure app service i have created a video what is azure app service how could you deploy an app service with visual studio in my previous video and i will provide the link in the description now let's get started so now let me open visual studio community edition so what you can do is you can create a new project and you can select asp.net core web api and you can go on next and you can provide the details but i already created an application let me open the application so that is asp.net core sql web application so when you create an basic web application it creates a home page for you but other than that i created an additional page in my solution which contains about the create update and delete and edit of certifications so let me open sql server as well so i am connecting to my local server and i am going to the database i already created a, a database called learning and i created one table and let's look at the table so let me do a select star so i created a certification table and which contains the name exam date and the code so i created few certifications with exam dates and now i'm i'm trying to use this table in my asp.net web application so if you look at here so I have a connection string which is talking to my local database of learning and if you look at couple of pages i'm going to create i'm using those fields and trying to create a certificate this is a delete operation edit and if you want to view is the details and there's an index page uh, to show the data now let's run this application locally yeah now it is opening locally so this home page comes by default with your default application but i created a certification tab if you go here and if you go to your layout and i created one more page called certification and which is going to the controller of certificate and i have a controller here certification control and all the operations are happening from here and let's go back to the application so this is my local application so let me quickly uh, create a new certificate so i'm just just going to add one more certificate let me call it as db100 and just i'm going to put a date and let me save this so now this is got added now if i go to my database if i run this this db100 got added right likewise you can do edit operations you can do delete operations and everything should work now this is the application which is running locally which is using asp.net web application and sql server now let's try to deploy this application to azure app service and azure sql so let me go to portal.azure.com so you should use your login and let me create a new resource so i'm going to create a web app to deploy my web application i just use my subscription i will call it as yeah asp.net core demo i will call it as asp.net database demo and i will just try to use .NET 8 windows and uh, this is the application plan i will try to use a free version let's go to database we'll create we need database so it says that database can be only available on basic and higher right now I have go back 
and let me change the plan so let me select the basic version yeah which, which cost um, per hour six rupees so now let me go to database create a database for now let's, let's ignore this we will create uh, manually so let's go to deployment uh, there's no cd required networking nothing is required monitor you can ignore and it just you can ignore all other items and just review and create now this creates a basic uh, asp.net core web app app service so now in the meanwhile let me open azure again so it takes a few minutes for validation and getting into deployment so meanwhile let's create the database as well so i'll create a sql database i'll create new let's select the same resource group where our app service is there let's put a server name let's create a new server so let's select the location as same as app service which was canada central we will use sql authentication make sure this username password are noted so you have to use in your connection string now our, our workload is development uh, make sure you are because this is a basic application i will just uh, try to change the configuration to basic meanwhile let's go to the sql server let's go to the resource group yeah we see here we have app service plan app service and sql server so let's go to the sql server now our database is ready so let's click on the database you can go to query editor so i will use my password to connect okay it is not accepting let me use my so let's go here so let's add my ip so i'm adding my client ip and also you have to select this so that your azure app service can talk to this yeah this is done let's go back to the database let's go to query editor because now my added my current mission ip now it is getting connected now let's run the script in azure sql database let me go to the local i have generated a script from my local database let's run this data is inserted let's check if data is available yeah now the data is moved to cloud now let's try to deploy the web application to azure app service so let's you can go to the solution explorer right click and click on publish add a publish profile my azure account is already got connected so let me select azure azure app service windows so it will try to fetch your app service so this is our app service click on next let's click on finish so as it has a service dependency so let's connect this as well let's pick up azure sql database let's select the sql database which we created let's put our username now this will go and uh, save to azure app settings click on next finish now our connection string is validated and it is connected now let's deploy this application it is deploying the application to our azure app service now the publish is succeeded so this is the url and it automatically <coughs> opening our application so this is the home page go to certification now you can see that this data is fetched from azure sql database on the cloud so let's go and insert one record here so let me take one aws certification yeah let's pick up this so let's take it as aws certified cloud practitioner i'm going to certification i'm going to add this the code i'll put clf c01 and let me put it date 18th let's create so now you can see that this is aws is available on cloud if i go to my local database if i run this you don't see the aws but if i go to the cloud version if i run this you can see at the end aws cloud practitioner certificate which means that this particular application is saving the database to the azure sql database now this is our 
cloud application so couple of issues which i faced uh, during this demo the ftp publish profile was not deploying so i went to app service and in the configuration please enable this basic publish plus ftp publish options to on so that it will deploy using publish profile and also if you want to check your connection string go to environment variables and uh, go to connection string and make sure the connection string is correct so you can take connection string from your sql database so you can go to sql server sql database and see connection strings and you can take this connection string and simply put it into azure app settings and you have to replace your password now with this we are done with the demo where we create an application locally deployed to azure app service azure sql and we have in the application running on the cloud thanks for watching the demo please subscribe to our channel dotnet mirror please give a like button to share to multiple users please share with your friends and click on bell notification to get new videos thanks for watching